Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Please subscribe followed by the bell. The new iPhone 15 series finally brought USB-C to the iPhone. Some have no idea why we geeks care, others are rejoicing. For one, USB-C is present on all iPhone 15 models, but only the Pro variants actually make use of it and unlock USB 3 speeds. Secondly, even the expensive Pro models don't come with a USB 3 cable in the box. You need to shell out extra for that. But, hold on, there is a silver lining. You don't need an Apple-made USB 3 cable for that. Any USB Type-C cable that is compatible with Thunderbolt, or otherwise USB 3 speeds will work. No need to look for that M5 branding, way to show restraint, but of course, we have to ask the question, will all USB 3 cables work the same? Are there some hidden shenanigans? As you can see, a USB 3 cable is quite chunky, especially compared to the stock iPhone 15 cable. Some have argued that this is one reason why Apple didn't include them in the box with the pros. That average users would prefer a thinner and lighter cable over that thick beast. Whatever the reason is, the good news is that we are at least spoiled for choice. There are all sorts of cables out there. Braided, non-braided, long, short, colorful, cheap, expensive. Will they do the same job? The cleanest way to test USB speeds is to just use an external drive. Copying files to a computer, we will do that later, is encumbered by other factors like the computer disk's write speeds, other tasks in the background, controller throughput. We simply grabbed an external Samsung drive and hooked it up to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. For the purpose of this test, we recorded a 2-minute 4K ProRes video, which amounted to about 9.86 gigabytes, just short of the 10 gigabyte size we were aiming for. We copied the file over to the SSD a few times, using a different cable each time, and timed the process. Well, there you have it. Pretty much any USB 3 cable we have on hand does the same job, copying the full 9.86 GB over in just 27 seconds. You can see the absolute horror of attempting the same with the braided USB-C cable that comes in the iPhone 15 Pro's box. We also wanted to see how the cables affect computer transfers. Are you better off using AirDrop, or should you invest in a USB 3 cable? Here's how fast the same file copied over to a MacBook Pro. As long as you have any sort of USB 3 cable, you are good. No need to invest $70 in one meter of Apple wire, even if that Thunderbolt cable is quite pretty in its braided glory. So, do you need a USB 3 cable? If you haven't really felt the issues with lightning and its slow speeds in the past, you are probably fine off without thinking too much about it. Now, turning those numbers into a conversation starter, that's not something we can help with. Those that love to shoot high-res video have probably felt the pain of trying to transfer their files in the past. Ultimately, using the cloud was the better option due to lightning being so painstakingly slow. We can happily report that the USB 3 speeds of the iPhone 15 Pro are real and they make life much, much easier. And you can get them with any old USB 3 cable at that. Without being said let me know your thought in the comment below. And if you are new here please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video. One peace out.